Hey, this is Wayne Williams speaking of horses. We're at Briarfest 2016, and this is the 19th year that we've been coming to Briarfest, and it's about the seventh or eighth year we've been able to bring you some video highlights of what's happened here at Briarfest. So we're glad to have you join us on Speaking of Horses, and let's just look at some of the fun action right here at Briarfest 2016, held at the beautiful Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington. Stay with us. Well, right now, here's a look at the Rockin' Our Rhythm Riders, a wonderful presentation right here at Briarfest. These horses are best known for their impressive strength and coming on personality. Today, proudly demonstrated this wonderfully versatile breed. Well, today, are members of the Rockin' Our Rhythm Riders drill team. We'll be showing you just how versatile and fun a mountain horse can really be. Wilson's Birds of Prey. Oliver. Well, that works too. He says, hello. Come on, my boy. He's good. Oliver, no, tail me. He has to come all the way through. So he, he's young. He has confidence issues. And like Jeff was saying, you know, Patriot is a little bit young. So Oliver does what he wants. He has tails where they can decide to cooperate. Did anybody catch the show last night, the sport of Cow Kings and Cowboys? Yeah, pretty beautiful. Oliver was the, uh, the owl that we used for the second half. And Lori, can we talk about the first, the uh, Falcon? Hey, Pete. You guys are making it easy, big old man. Making it easy, most of you that are down here close. It's good. After that long walk, you better have the right ticket. And this right now is the Young Guns Drill Team. Watch these young kids and enjoy.
Well, you know, when you attend Briarfest, you always meet a lot of unique and rare breeds of horses. Today, we introduce you to the Sugarbush Draft Horse, and you're going to learn a lot about them during this program. Watch. 1685. A drawing of him is found at the Codex Canadensis. This is a record not only one for the spotted horses in the Americas, but the first draft horse. Marco Polo definitely brought word of spotted horses back from his travels to the Far East. And up by circuses. Their striking looks and extreme intelligence make them great performers. And drafts are the perfect to catch an acrobat's flips or remain calm while ridden by a lion around the ring. The wild atmosphere of circuses and carnivals didn't bother the steady spotted drafts in Europe. And their importation of the New World brought their colorful, majestic presence to Spanish, French, and Dutch colonies. Not all spots, spice is an art brought across the European continent. As more and more of the spotted horses were bred, and as equines increased in size through selective breeding, they found their way into different classes of society and different uses. Riding, driving, heavy work, small ponies, <laughs> Earlier we saw the Sugarbush Spotted Draft. Right now let's learn an awful lot more about this rare breed. Went to school, did animal science, learned the breeding thing, and here we are. And then in 2000, 2009, Monkey Boy, our stallion, is registered as Majestic Arrows. He was born. I didn't know he was born yet, but he was born for me. My husband said, why do you want one that's crossed with draft? I'm like, that's perfect intelligence and beauty. Okay, so he goes to Washington State. He comes back in 2010 with a yearling. His name was Magic, but by the time he got home with him, his name was Monkey Boy and I had to have him, so he went and got him. He went through snow, ice, and everything just to get him for me. <laughs> anyway, we get him home and baby him, love on him, and find out that he's just, you know, a big love boat. Mixed with And then now that's all we want to do. But after the first ones hit the ground, and it just all a, a totally different, totally intelligent, good train. But say that and this is how you got into it, and now you're bringing more bloodline in. So talk about that a little. 
<clears throat> after we had Majestic Arrows, aka Monkey Boy, uh, we raised him and we started breeding him. I spotted the most biggest plump draft Appaloosa I ever seen. And I did research on, found out they were called sugar bush. And uh, I, con I think I contacted through website or somewhere. Might have been, somebody gave me some info, but I ran across the sugar bush site and I was like, oh my goodness, I've got a sugar bush. I didn't know it. <laughs> so they, we did a confirmational analysis, we did testing, and he got approved, and, and this rest is history. Our, our babies are just wonderful. Without a doubt. Let's say just a little bit about how it's influencing the bloodline, helping the bloodline with new bloodlines into the Oh, that's her. Well, um, at Rock and K Ranch, our ranch, we do the lighter boned sugar bush uh, because we use Frisian draft blood. Uh, we do have a Percheron mare at the house, but I haven't got her approved yet. She will be, I'm sure. She's awesome. But until then, we deal with Frisian blood, the lighter variety. And they have produced lots of uh, lighter draft, dressage, they, they're very versatile. And if we keep any of our offspring to breed in the future, their percentage, we have to breed up. We have to breed to a higher, bigger bone draft in order to have registered offspring. So we will probably pick out a nice colored, handsome guy named Harley O. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes and how big our mares get and who we breed to. But yeah, we're looking to breed forward. Both of you together, just talk up real briefly how much you love the sugar bush draft. You can't get enough out of me on that because they're the, they're the most docile, lovable, entertaining horse you'll ever own in your life. Extremely smart. If they can figure out what you want, they'll do it willingly. There's no trailer training. It's not forcing them into the trailers. If you step in, they beat you in. If you go to get out, they beat you out. Uh, walking through hay rings, going over obstacles through creeks and uh, water, they don't care. They just go wherever you go because they want to be with you. They're just an, an amazing creature. Okay, I'm Monty Getz. I work at Churchill Downs in Keeneland Racecourse in Kentucky. Uh, I, I'm not a breeder of the Sugarbush Draft, but um, I do have a sugar bush draft that I love dearly. Every, he's very well known all over the country, all over the world. He takes, uh, he's a lead horse for the Kentucky Derby. I run a big pony business at Churchill and he's my favorite horse that I ride. I use a lot of thoroughbred horses, but I'm into the sugar bush draft now because I really enjoy riding them. They're nice horses to work with, laid back. He's went, he's 2,000 pounds and he can warm up thoroughbreds better than the thoroughbred ponies that I have. As far as that goes, he's laid back, none of them rattle him. And I was a little skeptical on using him at first, thinking, you know, when I did buy the horse, I thought maybe, you know, he might scare a lot of horses as big as he is. But I found that they love him. All the horses that even hook up to him just it's like their security blanket. He's so big, they just cling to him like magnets. They don't get all shook up. And when I do have a bad horse, I, he does the job. He loves what he does. He does everything I ask him to do. Um, he's so laid back. He's probably, you know, one of the few, he is the probably the only pony in the Kentucky Derby that works with no earplugs in his ears or ace in him or anything like that. He's, he, his disposition is just wonderful. And I got, I got into this by Tracy Meisenbach, and she called me up after she saw me in the Kentucky Derby with Harley, and that's his nickname, by the way. But anyway, um, she asked me about he, he would fit the sugar bush draft. And I said, absolutely. So I came to the Briar Show last year and I enjoyed it and got to meet the sugar bush draft horses and I love the breed. And 
I'm always shopping for more of them. I may, I may switch all my thoroughbred lead horses to Sugarbush Draft as far as that go. I've got another one I bought from a, a, a friend of mine too through the Sugarbush Draft. I got another one I bought. He's a two-year-old this year. Uh, he's just getting broke and uh, I bought him off uh, Rebecca Buck and I really, I think he's going to be a very nice sugar bus draft. He's more athletic, uh, more thoroughbred look, and I'm really anxious to try him too. You'll be seeing him on TV, uh, working the Kentucky Derby, hopefully next year. Uh, he's young yet, though. I, you know, we don't want to overdo him, but um, I, I really, I'm really high on the breed. I love the breed, um, and. The more people at the racetrack, they, Harley is very well known. They all love him. They see how he d works. They, they, they just enjoy watching him, you know, and he's happy. He's a horse that wants to do, please you in any way that he can, you know, and, um, and does his job and he, and he does it perfect. And, that's about all I can ask out of the horse, you know. And here we are putting a little harness on one of the sugar bush draft as they were preparing for their demonstration at Briarfest 2016. I'm president of the American Sugarbush Harlequin Draft Association, and uh, we're here to talk a little bit about the uh, association, how we got going, and where we're going from here. Uh, I got into it about four years ago. My daughter introduced me to uh, Sugarbush Harley's Classic O. He's the big uh, draft that we saw earlier getting harnessed in the uh, Sugarbush harness. He's come here to Briars four years in a row, and uh, we saw him out in Texas with some mutual friends, and uh, I fell in love, and I told my daughter, I says, you know, I'm getting ready to retire, and uh, I don't know if I really want to get into more horses. It's kind of winding down now. Well, once I saw him in person, and I met some of the folks that were in uh, some folks the in Sugar Texas, Bush and uh, also, um, some folks the first year we came to Briar Fest, um, Tracy Meisenbaum and uh, Stephanie Adame, Heather Christman, some of our board members that all got together with a common interest to save this breed because we saw that there were a lot of horses out there and kind of fragmented. So uh, we started uh, talking together. I actually had purchased Sugarbush Harley's Classic O from Everett Smith. He's our breed founder. He uh, started the Sugarbush Hitch Company back in the early 90s. He actually had uh, been doing breeding of horses before he had the Sugarbush Hitch Company. And uh, he liked the Percheron and he was looking at uh, different horses and kind of looking at things to uh, kind of increase the notice of his horses. He, he knew what a good horse looked like and uh, the man started working with uh, doing more breeding. He uh, met some uh, folks out in California, Mike Muir, who had a common goal with a lighter draft horse uh, with the spots, uh, the Appaloosa breeding that Mike Muir started the uh, Stonewall Sport Horses a little bit before ever it did. And he had an ad in the, um, one of the magazines, trade magazines, and Everett contacted him. And uh, as we say, the rest is history. And they got together, they produced uh, from Stonewall Rascal, the grandsire to Sugarbush Harley's Classic O. From him, we um, ended up, Everett got Sugarbush Harley Quinn. He's the most famous most people recognize. He's the, the Harley that everybody notices as a Dalmatian draft. They kind of see him and 
his picture, they said, he looks just like a Dalmatian. And I says, then you've met a sugar bush. So Everett and I have talked quite a bit. Mike Mira and I have talked quite a bit. I'm proud to say they're some mentors of ours. They're helping us to guide the organization. Uh, they're helping us to, uh, as mentors, both of them have been inducted into our Hall of Fame. And uh, we feel that having them still in our fold, so to speak, really helps us to know what the idea was and stay with those goals. And we feel with the clean genetics that we require, we're the only registry that currently requires for breeding animals to be genetically clean in a five panel test if they're a grade horse and also JEB1 and PSSM1 if they're draft horses. So they do have to pass this as well as top confirmation. And uh, we look for the best of the best. So if you think you have a sugar bush out there, you have some type of a cross, some type of a draft with LP characteristics, look it up on our website and uh, maybe you've got a sugar bush. Remind them of the website. Yeah. So look us up on our website. It's sugarbushharlequindrafts.com or you can just look for ASHDA, A-S-H-D-A. That's our abbreviation. It's long, but it's worth the look. <laughs> well, right now at Briarfest, we do a wonderful evening show. Let's watch some of the wonderful highlights from the nighttime show.
Well, one other thing at Briarfest 2016, the National Reining Horse Association came. Not only did they demo, but they gave you a chance to ride a reining horse. Watch. Reach forward and say that magic word. So center is right up here. Look right up here. You're leaning too far to the inside. Push your feet out. Say whoa. Good. Whoa. Stop. Don't pet him. Don't Next. pet him. Sit squeeze. <laughs> Step out. Stop. Step out. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Briarfest 2016. Hope you enjoyed the highlights here on Speaking of Horses.